the atomic bomb, one of mankind's greatest creations, but also one of mankind's deadliest and destructive creations. This is the Manhattan Project. It all began early in the year 1939. The world's scientific community discovered the German physicists had learned the secrets of splitting a uranium atom. Fear soon spread over the possibility of Nazi scientists utilizing the energy to produce a bomb capable of unspeakable destruction. Two scientists by the name of Albert Einstein, who fled Nazi persecution, and Enrico Fermi, who escaped fascist Italy, were now living in the United States. They agreed that the president must be informed of the dangers of atomic technology in the hands of the Axis powers. Fermi then traveled to Washington in March to express his concerns on government officials, but only few shared his uneasiness. Einstein then decided to write a letter to President Roosevelt, urging the development of an atomic research program later that year. Roosevelt saw neither the necessity nor the utility for such a project, but then agreed to proceed slowly. In late 1941, the American effort to design and build an atomic bomb received its codename the Manhattan Project. At first, the research was based only at a few universities, Columbia University, the University of Chicago, and the University of California at Berkeley. A breakthrough occurred in December 1942, when Fermi led a group of physicists to produce the first controlled nuclear chain reaction under the ground stands at Stagg Field at the University of Chicago. After this milestone, funds were allocated more freely, and the project advanced at a breakneck speed. Nuclear facilities were built in Oak Ridge, Tennessee and Hanford, Washington. The main assembly plant was built at Los Alamos, New Mexico. Robert Oppenheimer was put in charge of putting the pieces together at Los Alamos. After the final bill was tallied, nearly $2 billion had been spent in research and development of the atomic bomb. The Manhattan Project employed over 120,000 Americans. Secrecy was paramount. Neither the Germans nor the Japanese learned of the project. Roosevelt and Churchill also agreed that Stalin would be kept in the dark. Consequently, there was no public awareness or debate. Keeping 120,000 people quiet would be impossible. Therefore, only a small privileged group of inner scientists and officials knew about the atomic bomb's development. In fact, Vice President Truman had never heard of the Manhattan Project until he became President Truman. Although the Axis powers remained unaware of the efforts at Los Alamos, American leaders later learned that a Soviet spy named Klaus Futch had penetrated the inner wall of scientists. By the late summer of 1945, Robert J. Oppenheimer was ready to test the first bomb on July 16, 1945 at Trinity Test Site near Alamogordo, New Mexico. Scientists of the Manhattan Project ready themselves to watch the detonation of the world's first atomic bomb. The device was affixed to a 100-foot tower and discharged before dawn. No one was properly prepared for the result. A blinding flash, visible for 200 miles, lit up the morning sky. A mushroom cloud reached 40,000 feet, blowing out windows of civilian homes up to 100 miles away. When the cloud returned to Earth, it created a half-mile-wide crater, metamorphosizing sand into glass. A cover-up story was quickly released, explaining that a huge ammunition dump had just exploded in the desert. Soon, word had reached President Truman in Potsdam, Germany, that the project was successful. The world then entered a nuclear age, to which mankind bends and uses this technology to their own will and own destruction. This is the Manhattan Project. Oak Ridge, Manhattan Project, 1942. This is the perfect site for our testing facility. Yes, spacious mountainous area. Let's set up shop.